all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm going to be talking about zen specifically my strategy on the zen nft side i do have some batch mints as well as the regular mints for 300 wallets worth on all networks pretty much for the most part majority of them excluding one or two give or take but i just want to pretty much show you guys and be transparent with my strategy the term days how many i'm going to be getting the value of it right now you know so on and so forth you know i don't really have anything to upload today there's really not many news or updates or big out you know break out of zen price you know nothing really okay i can show you all the price right now it's we're still staying flat around that nine and a half area a few days ago if y'all did watch my video i did let you guys know that i do see this like flattening out and just being con that consolidation phase a little bit and that we were going to be hovering around this area for a while i was right i, I was kind of scared of this being a, like a boring time to be up uploading any type of content i was expecting this i was low-key like please don't do it but oh well it didn't and, and another way i was right okay so zen community if you can do me the huge favor please click the like button comment down below anything I'm very curious about your strategy. Let me know what's your heaviest bag, whether it be Pulse Chain, whether it be Matic, whichever one it is, you know, diversify. It is the best strategy in my own personal opinion. It works out the best. If you don't, if you cannot afford Ethereum gas fees, there it's a little bit cheap right now compared to how it was before. But if you can't afford Ethereum gas fees, let me know what other blockchain you are doing, whether it be Avalanche, which I still think it's very underrated even evmos or polygon whichever one let me know man i'm very curious i want to see what you what you have in mind your goal your target your take profit uh zen price i'm very curious about that okay but under the price right now it's looking still the same the rsi is still very low it's not on the oversold yet but it looks like we might be here for a while, at least until some big news comes out from Jack or if he announces something big or until the projects start coming out and burning more Zen. We are hovering around 15 trillion coins right now. It's a lot and we do need to start burning some more coins, but that's only up if 100% of the time, you know, if good projects start doing some really big major, I don't know, breakthroughs or something. We need that, okay? But for the meantime, let's go ahead and show you guys my own strategy. I'm going to start off with Evmos. Okay, I'm going to be going back and forth into different wallets. Some wallets are going to have Zen NFTs. Other ones are going to be in different wallets, different blockchains. So bear with me on this one, okay? So if you're curious about what my strategy is, go ahead. You know, Stay tuned for the video. Let me know uh, if you enjoyed it. Or if not, that's perfectly fine, okay? So this is Evmos. On one wallet... I have 130 Zen NFTs. I've been, this is the third day that I have claimed about 1 billion Zen, okay, which isn't that much USD wise today, but in the future, it could be worth some really good amount of money, like some, a, like a couple of bucks if I continue to, to just accumulate every single day and do some stakes and stuff like that, okay? So I ended up doing as low as like day 60 some, 64. And now I'm claiming every single day a max 200 VMU days. As you guys can see, the term days, it goes from 64 and it starts doing on like literally one day, one day, right? All the way, at least on this wallet, I have it all the way to 190 days, which it's going to be crazy because I think I have all the way up to like day 400 or something like that or 500, whatever term day uh, Evmos is right now, max. I have it all the way through, you know, on day 190, it's going to be 2.7 billion coins and it's going to be every single day, you know, in the future, maybe on day 190, this is going to be, you know, worth 20 bucks. I don't know. I'm just putting a number out there. Okay. So $20 every single day, boom, you know, 30 days in a month, that's going to be about $600 of just free money. Okay. Even if it's $5, $150 a month, something like that, right? So it works out the best, in my opinion, if I just hold on to these currently because everything on the Zen, on all blockchains, the token is just cheap. Uh, there's no point for me to sell anything if we are literally at the very bottom. So I'm going to show you guys the next one I'm going to start with. Uh, let's do Matic. Let's go from the top down to the bottom. I have always said, you know, my strategy 
is diversifying. My strategy is doing the best, you know, strategy there is. And, and I do believe in it. And I want to be transparent with you guys and show you guys pretty much everything that I have. Um, I'm going to, I guess this wallet doesn't have anything. So I'm going to change over to my next wallet. Yeah, this one has something. Okay. So I think if I remember correctly, the Matic one was getting really annoying because it we were just crashing left and right. So this one is a little random, um, at least on this wallet. But I finally managed to get it the well the polygon network managed to get a little bit more stable simply because literally the zen community was just breaking every blockchain that's how strong we are we are trending on twitter almost every single day you know how crazy that is every single day somebody new is going to check out zen trending and they're going to head on over to google youtube they're going to search they're going to be curious and they're going to head on over and be like okay this is a crypto it looks good um pretty much free money so they're going to get in so it looks it's a win-win scenario in my in my eyes so for this one on the polygon side i'm doing every two days so for this wallet i have i have 80 zen nfts on this wallet the guys I have so many wallets, it's it's insane, okay? But for Polygon, it's every two days, as you guys can see. 342, 344, and it goes on, so on and so forth, okay? I can go all the way to day 489. And I remember this because I was on the cruise during my honeymoon. I remember this because I tried to get in and it kept failing the transaction. I would try again and it would fail. And I would go back and it ended up actually minting. That's why you would see multiple of the same term days for it two four eighty nines there is multiple ones down below as well i think like day 450 has like three also or somewhere around there so it kept you know doing it said it kept saying it would fail but it would actually go through so that was annoying polygon was a headache but i finally managed to get it all the way through it's every two days under the matic size so this is going to be super uh exciting once the the um, whole entire claiming starts getting in. I think my Polygon Zen NFTs will start claiming the 28th of this month of July. After I think after the 27th or the 28th of July, every two days I will have a really good amount of Zen to claim for me to do whatever I want to. But right, like I said in the pre in the beginning of the video, there's no point in selling. I'm gonna hold on to these and just see what I can do. Maybe burn a few, or maybe stake it. Stuff like that. I'll, I'll see what I can do, okay? So that's going to be on the Polygon side. That is every two days. Binance Smart Chain. Guys, <laughs> if you know, you know, Binance Smart Chain, has, in my opinion, is just a headache. I think this is the worst one of all blockchains, you know, price-wise, um, minting-wise, claiming-wise, all, all together, okay? This one's the one that let me down and i think it let down majority of the people um I, that's why you only see me put five vmus that's all i did i started from max term days and worked all the way down this is every four days that i am doing okay i think it, i'm actually gonna start claiming these or oh, i already did okay i forgot about these oh my goodness did i miss one? Oh no i didn't okay so i apparently i started claiming these the 10th of july and it's every four days so there's one claim tomorrow um, of five VMUs as well. And then it's going to start doing every five, four to five days, right? Yeah, every four days pretty much. So that's going to be happening all the way pretty much till around 500 days. And I know I have more on my other wallet. This one has 106 Zen NFTs. And I did mint random 100 VMUs. Other ones have another 100 as well, multiple 100s on different wallets. And it's just crazy how I was just putting money into all of this, yo. It is insane. That's why I'm telling you to diversify. It works out the best. Like, let's say, for example, 200,000 Zen on a Binance right now is worth maybe a dollar, two dollars. I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just guesstimating, right? And to, I don't know, next month or six months from now, a year from now, this same amount of Zen can be worth $200, right? Or 50 bucks. I don't know which means, you know, I would be getting $50 every four days and it accumulates even more as time goes by, as long as I held on to them, as long as I continue to do my strategy, you know, so on and so forth. So that's my Binance Smart Chain. It's letting me down so far. It doesn't look good, but let me know your opinion, okay? 
Avalanche. I freaking love Avalanche. I still think it is very underrated whenever it comes to price and minting on any of this, all right? On this wallet, I did 16 VMUs every three days. So I ha this wallet has 116 VMUs. I know you guys can't see it because of the, you know, I'm in the way and everything, but uh, it's every three, no, I'm sorry. It's, yeah, it's every three days, 438, 435, 432. Um, I remember, I think this one's going to be start claiming very soon in about 15 days. I think my other wallet goes down all the way to like day 70, if I remember correctly. So this, that, that's going to be very, very soon where I'm going to start claiming some Zen tokens and under Avalanche. And that's going to be every three days, which again, it could be worth a pennies right now but in the future is gonna be amazing right if you guys remember the last pump on the avalanche network you know if the prices would have been what it is today or what it was before right uh this amount would have been i think i did the math of like oh man i forgot how much it would have been i want to say it would have been like a hundred dollars or something like that this amount right here i can't remember exactly what it was but imagine getting that you know every single time it is is it's super exciting and it's going to test your patience. I understand that. But hey, what you can do about it, right? So under the Phantom Network, I know I have one. I think I have two um, wallets that are like pretty much all the way to the top until they started crashing. So this wallet has 119 Zen NFTs and it's every two days with 45 VMUs. Uh, 464 days on max term days for this wallet. And I'm going to start claiming this one starts on in eight days under this wallet, right? Uh, so starting August 2nd, every two days, I will start claiming some phantom tokens with 45 VMUs, which is fine by me. It's going to work out. It's crazy how I'm going to be able to claim Zen NFT, uh, Zen tokens pretty much every day somewhere until next August. All right, so you guys know I invested a good amount of money into this. Pulse Chain, I'm looking forward for Pulse Chain simply because right now the minting price uh, for the reward that you're going to be getting in the future, it looks phenomenal, okay? Uh, apparently this one, this one has a little bit, not that many. I'm going to change over to my other wallet. I know that one has a good amount. So boom, this is Pulse Chain. This uh, wallet has 256 Zen NFTs. My the rest of my other wallets I think have a hundred and like 150. Uh another one has like 50 Zen NFTs. You know, they're all over the place. Um right now, since J Jack did the really good update, by the way, happy birthday, Jack. You know, it's his birthday today, apparently. I seen it on Twitter, so happy late birthday. Uh wish you the best. You know, make sure you wish Jack a happy birthday on Twitter or on the YouTube comment section right here down below. I don't see why not. Um, so yeah, I've been doing PLS. Uh, I have, oh, I have actually other, another wallet that has five VMUs, um, for every five days. This wallet has every two days and I, it just started on the 8th of July, every two days, 128 VMUs. I just got done claiming this one yesterday. And I have another one that's coming up tomorrow with about 450 million PLS, which right now it's currently around uh, 11 to $15, depending on the price. So every two days, I'm getting about $15 worth of, of Zen, which I can do whatever I want to. And it's amazing because <laughs> look how quick it grows, man. Um, literally on day 63, it's going to go to 1 billion Zen every two days, which is gonna be really good once we finally see that pump that I've been saying that Zen is gonna do under Pulse Chain. It's the only one left to do that, okay? And I literally have it all the way, man. It is insane how this is, I love PLS under Zen, man. It's amazing, it's fast, it's good. Price is still stable enough. You know, the overall value that I have for all of this is amazing. I, I'm so excited about this one, okay? And I think that's gonna be it. I don't have anything, of course not. Doge coin, Doge chain, of course not. Moonbeam, barely anything, nothing too major. Um, not worth showing, in my opinion. I don't have anything under the OKC, nor do I have anything under the Ethereum proof of work. That's just my own 
uh, you know, train of thought that I don't really want to have anything under there. I don't, I don't see it doing anything, but that's just me. If you have it, some Zen NFTs under them blockchains, that's fine. I respect your decision. I hope it does really good for you. Um, but for me, I think I'd rather put some money into Pulse Chain or Ethereum, you know, just to be on the, oh yeah, let me show you on the Ethereum side. Um, that way I can be as transparent as I can for you guys. Pretty much Ethereum is the number one that everybody is doing. So, uh, yeah, so this wallet apparently has 141, uh, Zen NFTs and it has, I started doing like every 10 days, as you guys can see with 10 VMUs. And then I started decreasing the term days. I went like every five days. And then I have some every two days that I started from all the way from term days down below. And then it starts dropping down. I think the minimum day is like day, I think a day 170 or 150, somewhere around there, which I stopped there simply because the minting price compared to how many I'm going to get um, Zen token wise uh, compared to the term days, you know, equivalent to how much I was going to spend. So I stopped at around 150 or 170, somewhere around there on my other wallet. So this one's doing pretty good. I don't mind it. I don't mind waiting, you know, another year to be able to claim this amount of tokens. It's a long-term process. I'm going to enjoy it every single time on all blank blockchains. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. You know, I'm being transparent with you guys just because, you know, just because I say, you know, get in, do this strategy, you know, and put in this much or, or, you know, start doing this amount of term days because I say it. And you guys do it, and now I feel, I, of course, I don't want to say something and me not do it. So I put my money where my mouth is. I tell you guys something is because I'm doing it, okay? But th at the same time, it's like, work around it, right? If you can only afford $100 worth of mints, do your term days every 50 days or every 25 days, monthlies, stuff like that. Because if we pump on day, let's say, 300 of your mint day, right, of your term days, then you will have something throughout that time period of 300 days, 310 days, 330 days, you'll have that strategy that will work out for you. Okay. So that's my own strategy. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about and understand this, the strategy behind all of this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. If you like my strategy, if you think it's going to go good or bad, let me know down in the comment section below, but guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for seeing you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.